Hey crafters, welcome to today's craft miss. So to start off, we got a three pack of these little dish towel wash cloths from my local Dollar Tree. And get this, they're 100% polyester, so you know what that means. We're going to be doing some sublimation, possibly infusible ink, but for today's video, let's do some sublimation projects. I do want to do at least one of them Christmas themed to just have like a cute little washcloth maybe in my bathroom or something. Probably going to gift one to some friends. So let's make some cute little washcloths and see how it goes. This video is more experimental than anything, but we love figuring new things out together. So let's go on over to Cricut Design Space. Yes, I said Cricut Design Space. I am now on Cricut Design Space. So I went on over and started a new project. So we're going to go on over to Upload and I'm uploading an image. I've already done this, but browse, and then go ahead and select the image you're wanting to put in. So I've already done that. Now when you do that, make sure you're selecting print then cut image. That way it's going to come with all of the colors and layers all ready together. This is what you want for sublimation. So you can upload like a PNG file, for example. Now these specific ones I got off of Creative Fabrica, so that's what these are from, but I'm going to go ahead and add these to my canvas. I think I want to do this little Merry Christmas one as well. So let's add all of those in. I do want to make a little bit of a design myself. So I pulled these really fun little glittery lips off of Creative Fabrica. And I'm going to go ahead and make some lettering that I think is really pretty. Okay, we're gonna do this. So what we're gonna do is highlight over everything. So as you can see here, this one is actually set to basic cut still, but over here, it's a print then cut. So we wanna combine it all together so that I can do sublimation. So I'm going to highlight over all of it and select flatten. Essentially, you can think of flatten as like combine. Now you see it combined it all as to one print that cut image. You can see that on the layers panel here. And that means that my Cricut is just going to be able to cut this out perfectly. If I wanted to make like stickers or something, it's going to cut it around it instead of through it. Now, I'm not going to be cutting it on my Cricut today. I'm actually just using Cricut Design Space software to design my little decal sublimation design that I'm making. And I'm just going to print it out on my sublimation printer. So because I want it to be a little corner of this, I'm just going to measure how big I want it. So now what we can do is put it all onto one page. That way I'm not wasting any sublimation uh, like paper or anything. We're going to select make it. Let's see if I can move it here and then just turn it sideways. There we go. I knew we could do it. <laughs> okay, perfect. So we have it all on one page, which is what I want. With sublimation, you want to make sure you mirror your image. So go ahead and mirror because when you are actually applying it, you're going to be flipping it. It will make sense when you're doing it. Now my printer is turned on as well as my Cricut. So send to printer is the next step. I have shown you how to set all of this up and settings to use, but I'm looking for my sublimation printer. Now my sublimation printer is actually just an Epson EcoTank that I converted converted air quotes because converting sounds like such an intimidating word when all I did was put the ink in and I showed you exactly how to do that so I'll make sure to leave this video up here as well as the full playlist for my sublimation for beginners down below but I'm going to select my sublimation printer I like to turn bleed off personally for sublimation and I'm ready to go ahead and select print now I do need to put in the paper so let me go do that here is where I have my sublimation printer and then underneath it, I also have my regular printer down there. This shelf is from, this shelf is from Walmart actually and it's really handy. It's supposed to be like a kitchen shelf but it works great because it's super sturdy. <clears throat> the sublimation paper I use is the A-Sub sublimation paper. This is by far the best one I have ever had and crafters talk about it all the time. It's probably the most used in the sublimation world. We're done printing it out and it's looking super cute. Don't worry when your sublimation print comes out dull, it's supposed to look like that. The color and everything gets activated when it actually goes in. So the ink really shines through once it goes onto the garment. So we're gonna move this aside for now and start up our heat press. 
Once it was printed, my next step was removing those registration marks. So I'm just going ahead and cutting those off because that is made with sublimation ink, which means it would transfer onto my material if I were to press it with those registration marks from Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut around each of them. I didn't want to waste paper, so I went ahead and printed it all on the same sublimation sheet. This is a little trick just to save some sublimation paper because you, of course, cannot reprint it and use the scraps back in your printer. Now I'm using some Cricut heat tape to go ahead and tape this exactly in the spot where I want it. I'm also making sure to not overlap it over the seam because I want an even press. That way the ink is going to go in evenly. There's not going to be any weird color distortion because of it and I am putting a generous amount of tape now make sure you are using heat tape because regular tape is going to melt when you press it so this one is just some cheap Cricut one that I found at Michaels anyone will do and I have some linked down below as well that I use for my other infusible ink and sublimation crafts once that's done you're ready to turn on your press and get started so my press is heated up to 385 degrees for 60 seconds and we're going to go ahead and press this first one. I have three of them to do. I have parchment paper underneath and I'm putting some on top that way if the ink leaks through, especially with this one, there are like really fine little kind of like waffle like holes in these dollar store cloths. So. We're going to go like this and press it for 60 seconds. Now that my cloth is done pressing, we're going to take it out. I'm going to carefully, because they're wearing long sleeves, move it and we're going to press the next one. I'm going to do this one next. I'm really excited to see what this one looks like. I'm actually surprised the ink didn't leak through with that one because these are like Definitely just let that waffle type washcloth. Okay, we're gonna go in and press this one again. While that one's being pressed, I want to peel it up and see how it looks. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Wow, that's adorable. Oh wow, what a cool little idea. So these Dollar Tree ones are definitely a hit. Wow, I'm going to get these again. Again, they came in a three pack. So I did the same print uh, in a previous Craftmas video. So we have our little pink Merry Christmas on this side. And then you flip it over. Obviously right now from the tape, it's a little puffy, but it's going to go down. And then the cute little Christmas trees. How adorable. Wow, this is so cute. And I mean, it was $1.50 for three of them. So really cheap little craft. This one's almost done. I'm really excited to see how this one turns out. And then we have one more. The thing I love about this press is I don't have to hold it down like the Cricut Easy Press. It's just clamps down, it's good. I know it's a solid even clamp and it's a five in one. So it actually turns into a mug press as well, which I love. It isn't going to change the mug press over to the plate here back and forth because of my business, I do it so often. So if I were to do it again for my business, I would still get this for my shirts, but I would get a sec separate mug press. Originally, I got this one, the five in one to save money, but honestly, the time it's going to save me to have a separate mug press is just worth it for me and my business. So I will be getting a separate mug press soon. I'm just kind of deciding. I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and go for the Cricut mug press, but not sure yet. I'm sipping on my holiday Starbucks drink. My favorite is the sugar cookie oat latte. What about you? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so while this one's finishing pressing, we are going to pull off the lips. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Wow, it really turned out how I wanted it to. Remember, this is the one that we designed ourselves on Cricut Design Space, and I wanted it to be kind of like a little bit of a hand towel for my best friend, for her bathroom. So super cute. It's really fluffy around it right now because of the tape, as you can see, but that's just because I flattened it with my press and uh, it will flatten over time. Just takes a little bit to cool off. Awesome, so we are done with those. And then we'll take a look at what they look like once they're fully cooled down. 
Make sure you hit that subscribe button for tons more crafty and Cricut content. I post Craftmas crafting videos every single day in the month of December. So we'll see you tomorrow in the next Craftmas video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.